Back in 1976, a groundbreaking TV series took audiences on a thrilling journey filled with action, adventure, and a touch of science fiction. This show wasn't just about extraordinary powers. It broke barriers in showcasing the strength and resilience of its lead character, particularly in a time when female-led action series were rare. It became a symbol of progress, setting the stage for future generations of strong women on screen. As we explore this captivating world, get ready for a whirlwind of emotions. From amusing anecdotes to startling revelations and touching moments, there's something for everyone to enjoy. So why not join us as we delve deeper into this beloved series? What makes this show timeless? It's not just the bionic enhancements, it's the human connections that truly resonate with audiences. While the character may have had extraordinary abilities, it's her relatable experiences and interactions that make her story unforgettable. Now, as we continue our journey, we invite you to share your own memories and experiences related to this classic TV series. Your stories add depth to our exploration of this iconic show. Keep watching, keep reminiscing, and let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts and memories below, and let's celebrate the enduring impact of this beloved series together. Television history is filled with memorable characters and shows that have left a lasting mark on audiences. Among them is a series that stands out for its unique blend of action, nostalgia, and strong characters. Portraying a woman rebuilt with extraordinary abilities after a tragic accident, this show captured the imagination of viewers around the world. Its mix of engaging storylines from lighthearted moments to more serious themes kept audiences eagerly tuning in week after week. Set against the backdrop of the 60s and 70s, this series brought to life a world where technology and intrigue collided. With a memorable theme tune and well-executed action sequences, it kept viewers on the edge of their seats. The performances of its talented cast added depth and emotion to the stories, drawing audiences deeper into the adventures of its characters. Occasional appearances by familiar faces from its parent series added to the excitement, enriching the overall experience for fans. Even years after its original airing, this show continues to hold a special place in the hearts of many, evoking memories of childhood and moments of excitement. Though the days of its original broadcast are long gone, the advent of the internet has allowed fans to connect with the show in new ways, expressing their gratitude to those involved in bringing it to life. Its impact on popular culture endures, providing audiences with a timeless source of entertainment and inspiration. As viewers revisit this beloved series, whether in dreams or through memorable scenes, they are reminded of the enduring legacy it has left behind. From thrilling adventures to heartfelt moments, it remains a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of a well-crafted narrative. In the TV world back in 1976, some actors really stood out in the Bionic Woman series. Take Lou Ayers, who acted alongside Anita Louise in two films during the early 1930s. Another standout was Richard Anderson, who played Oscar Goldman on both The Six Million Dollar Man and The Bionic Woman at the same time, which is quite rare in the industry. Other actors like Leo G. Carroll, Martin E. Brooks, David Hasselhoff, and Fred Thompson also pulled off this impressive feat. Lee Majors, known for his roles as Colonel Steve Austin and Colt Seavers, brought his talent to enrich the series. These actors added depth and authenticity to their roles, making the series really popular. Lindsay Wagner initially collaborated with Lee Majors on the series Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law in 1971. She rose to prominence as a result of her portrayal of a character she first played on The Six Million Dollar Man, where Majors also starred. John Houseman's life story is detailed in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives. Richard Anderson wore a hairpiece for his role as Oscar Goldman in the Bionic franchise. His natural hair, which had significantly thinned, was visible in the case of the paper bullets. He also appeared without a hairpiece and runner in the dark. In the realm of television history, the idea of fembots wasn't pioneered by the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman. The concept, although slightly different, debuted in The Magician, the illusion of the stainless steel lady featuring Bill Bixby. Unlike the Bionic franchise, The Magician depicted still, steel faces and eerie blue eyes when lifting the face mask. However, Westworld was the true originator of the concept, pioneering fully automated versions. Lindsay Wagner, known for her role as the Bionic Woman, had an unexpected evolution in her acting career. Initially, she became involved in acting through a recommendation from James Best, star of the Dukes of Hazard. Best, for whom Wagner had been babysitting, suggested she attend his acting classes. Wagner's involvement as the Bionic Woman continued beyond the original series. In Bionic Ever After, 
She agreed to reprise her role under the condition that her character marries the $6 million man, feeling it was long overdue for fans. The producers honored her request, and the television movie concludes with their wedding. In the world of television, there's a tale of ingenuity and influence that continues to captivate audiences even today. It's a story woven with creativity, talent, and cultural significance. From its inception, the show broke new ground, thanks to the collaborative efforts of its talented creators. A pioneering figure alongside a renowned director played a pivotal role in shaping the series, infusing it with a unique vision that left a lasting impact. The lead actor's portrayal was nothing short of extraordinary, earning her recognition and acclaim for her role in the groundbreaking series. This TV classic became more than just entertainment. It became a symbol of empowerment and resilience resonating with viewers across generations. Even in the realm of satire, its influence was felt as it found its way into the pages of popular magazines, showcasing its cultural reach. As we reflect on the history of this influential show, we're reminded of the enduring legacy crafted by its creators, a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain, leaving an unmistakable mark on the landscape of television. Martha Scott, known for her roles alongside Charlton Heston, played his mother in Ben-Hur and the Ten Commandments and portrayed his wife in a stage play. Vito Scotti, while filming Gilligan's Island, was bitten by a parrot named Timothy, who also left a surprise on his shoulder. Additionally, Martha Scott was hired at Heston's recommendation after another actress was dismissed for Ben-Hur and the Tumblr. Heston praised Scott's talents in his memoirs, solidifying her position as a trusted colleague. Amidst the thrills of action, there's a tale of determination and unexpected twists. Behind the daring jumps and dynamic scenes of the show, a talented stunt double brought the bionic action to life. Executing impressive feats, the stunts added an extra layer of excitement. One of the show's key figures had a childhood marked by family challenges. Growing up amidst her parents' divorce, she carried on, shaped by her father's firefighting duties and her mother's homemaking. These personal experiences formed the backdrop of the series, adding depth to the characters. Initially meant for just a guest appearance, a character's popularity led to a change of plans. Continuing in the role, the actor not only captured hearts, but also earned a spin-off series. It was a journey filled with unexpected turns, shaping television history in surprising ways. These glimpses behind the scenes shed light on the dedication of professionals, the personal stories of the cast, and the twists that define TV narratives. In the realm of classic cinema, an iconic figure graced the screen, leaving an indelible mark on audiences. Partnering with esteemed actors, her endeavors extended beyond acting into the realm of theater production, notably contributing to the establishment of Plumstead Playhouse in New York. Together, they brought Broadway hits to life, including First Monday in October, later adapted into a successful film. She also spearheaded the production of 12 Angry Men in Los Angeles, further cementing her legacy in the world of entertainment. Honored for Hisher contributions during the TCM summer under the stars in 2018, Hisher impact on the industry endures. Ford Rainey tended beehives at his Malibu ranch house in later years, earning him the nickname The Wizard from Neighborhood Children. At age 90, he was breeding birds and won trophies from several Southern California competitions. When the series changed networks from ABC to NBC for its final season, Richard Anderson and Martin E. Brooks became the first actors in history to play the same characters on two different television series on two different networks, as they continued to appear in The Six Million Dollar Man, which remained on ABC. Jamie's car throughout the series is a 1976 Datsun 280Z, which is now Nissan. The 240Z 280Z models are considered classics and are popular with collectors. In her covert operations, Jamie, the bionic woman from 1976, often employed code names inspired by Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs with a preference for the moniker Dopey. During the early 1960s, MGM explored the concept of an all-male remake of the 1939 film The Women, titled Gentleman's Club. The proposed ensemble cast included Lou Ayers, alongside notable actors like Jeffrey Hunter, Earl Holloman, Tab Hunter, Robert Wagner, James Garner, Jerry Mathers, James Stewart, Ronald Reagan, Troy Donahue, and Stuart Wegman. However, this project never materialized. An interesting anecdote from the set reveals a moment when Lee Majors, the six million dollar man, expressed his dissatisfaction. He stormed onto the Bionic Woman set, insisting on a shift in production priorities. Allegedly jealous of the Bionic Woman's higher ratings, Majors demanded a focus on producing more episodes of The Six Million Dollar Man, declaring it as the flagship show. 
This clash of interests underscored the competitive atmosphere between the two series, with Majors emphasizing the supremacy of his show in the ratings race. In his career, Lee Majors faced some challenges that affected his opportunities. One notable example was when he couldn't play a role because of his existing contract. However, he didn't let setbacks hold him back. He starred in a show called The Bionic Woman, which became really popular and showed his talent. During his time on the Big Valley, he had to do some tough scenes, including getting whipped three times in different settings. Despite the difficulties, he stayed committed to acting well and impressing the audience. Majors showed that he could handle different roles and tough situations, earning the respect of many people. His work in the entertainment industry continues to inspire others, showing how storytelling can have a big impact. It's clear that his journey has left a lasting impression, proving that determination and talent can go a long way in Hollywood. In his Oscar acceptance speech, John Houseman thanked the cameraman on the paper chase, Gordon Willis, who hadn't been nominated yet for that film or any other in his distinguished career. George Maharis, who studied at the Actors Studio, appeared in off-Broadway productions of Gene Jennett's Death Watch and Edward Albee's The Zoo Story. Lee Majors, a star athlete at Middlesbrough High School, had the football field named after him in 1986 and was inducted into their Sports Hall of Fame in 1991. In the world of TV history, the bionic woman went through some big changes. When the show moved from ABC to NBC, there was a problem with Lee Majors, who played a major role. He couldn't appear on both networks due to contracts. Also, a guy named John Houseman, who was known for making important movies, made two films that were really important in history letter from an unknown woman and the bad and the beautiful. Before the monkey show started, a guy named Michael Burns tried out for a part with Mickey Dolenz. But things changed and he ended up going a different way. So contracts and casting choices played a big part in how the bionic woman went from one network to another, making the story even more interesting. Lou Ayers, known for his roles in several films alongside Janet Gaynor and Lana Turner, also portrayed the title character for a syndicated radio show in the early 1950s. His collaboration with Gaynor included films such as State Fair and Servant's Entrance, as well as an episode of the television series. Additionally, Ayers shared the screen with Lana Turner in movies like Rich Man, Poor Girl, and Calling Dr. Kildare, establishing a notable presence in Hollywood during the late 1930s. Furthermore, his portrayal of the title character in the story of Dr. Kildare showcased his versatility across different mediums. Ayers' extensive experience and talent contributed significantly to the entertainment industry. In the 1976 TV series, the bionic woman, Lindsay Wagner, who played a pivotal role, bore a distinctive scar on her right upper lip, a remnant from a car accident she endured that same year. Meanwhile, Lee Majors, known for his role as Heath Barkley in the Big Valley, often exclaimed, boy, howdy, Martha Scott, another notable figure in the series, boasted appearances in six Oscar Best Picture nominees, including Ben-Hur, which clinched the award. These actors, each with their own unique traits and contributions, played significant roles in shaping the narrative of the bionic woman. In notable collaborations, Lou Ayers starred alongside Mee Clark in three films, including The Impatient Maiden, Night World, and Silk Hat Kid. Notably, Clark also featured in Ayers' sole directorial venture, the Civil War drama Hearts and Bondage. Lee Majors indirectly influenced the 1973 hit song Midnight Train to Georgia alongside Farrah Fawcett. Vito Scotti made multiple appearances in Columbo, portraying different characters each time. His credits include the episode Negative Reaction, which also featured Dick Van Dyke, his former colleague from the Dick Van Dyke show in the 60s. Lindsay Wagner received top billing in the Bionic Wedding TV movie reunion, despite Lee Majors finding success in the 80s with another hit show, The Fall Guy. Interestingly, Vito Scotti worked with the Macaque Monkey actor Jocko twice, first in The Twilight Zone and then in Gilligan's Island. In France, the series is titled Super Jamie with two eyes to avoid mispronunciation due to the French language's nuances. This was necessary as Jamie would sound like jammies and Jamie would resemble jam. In the realm of entertainment history, a pivotal moment occurred when a seasoned mentor recognized the raw talent of a young comedian, urging them to pursue their true passion. This guidance, delivered in an unlikely setting, propelled the comedian towards a legendary career that brought laughter to countless audiences worldwide. Meanwhile, the creation of a bionic marvel, a remarkable feat of innovation, captured the imagination of viewers due to its astonishing price tag. This canine sensation, affectionately named after the significant investment poured into its development, became an unforgettable character in a popular television series. 
Amidst this backdrop, a dynamic duo emerged, capturing the hearts of viewers and earning a well-deserved place in the annals of science fiction history. Their recognition as sci-fi legends highlighted the enduring impact of their adventures, solidifying their status as iconic figures in television lore. Jamie's body is reconstructed with parts similar to Steve Austin's, albeit smaller. The actual cost of rebuilding her is not revealed, but it's joked to be less than the cost to rebuild Austin, because her parts are smaller. George Maharis left the popular series Route 66 almost near the end of its third season in an uproar over a contract dispute. He was later replaced by Glenn Corbett, but the chemistry wasn't the same, and the series was canceled after a little over a season. Lindsay Wagner, a contract player for Universal Studios, guest starred as Jamie Somers on The Six Million Dollar Man. Initially believed to have no use, her character was resurrected due to public outcry. Negotiating a significant salary increase, Wagner landed her own series, where she commanded a substantial salary, royalties, and film guarantees. Catherine Hellmund earned a Tony Award nomination in 1973 for her role in The Great God Brown. During the first year of the series, Lindsay Wagner was involved in a car accident with her then-boyfriend actor Michael Brandon, resulting in injuries to both. The production of the show was paused for two weeks to allow Wagner to recover from her injuries. The character of Max, the bionic dog, was portrayed by several German shepherds throughout the series. For instance, in Season 3, Episodes 1 and 2, specific traits were required for the dog's role, such as being comfortable around fire, remaining calm on a treadmill, and refraining from eating food placed in front of it. These qualities were essential for the portrayal of the character. In a surprising twist of fate, a notable actress found love with someone significantly younger. Their love story spanned over five decades, starting when she was in her 30s and he was still a teenager. Despite the age gap, their bond endured, culminating in a marriage after seven years together. Tragically, just as one actor's final performance hit the screens, another departed from the world. The coincidence extends beyond their shared involvement in films, marking poignant moments in cinematic history. Such connections remind us of the intertwining threads of life and art. In the early days, Lindsay Wagner appeared in a major role in the first episode of a well-loved TV show. Martha Scott, known for her roles in old movies, played characters older than her real age in famous films. Meanwhile, Lee Majors talked about his good experience working with Barbara Stanwyck on a popular Western series. Wagner made a big impression on TV with a strong performance that became important for the show's history. Scott was skilled at playing different roles on the big screen, showing she could be versatile. Majors remembered the teamwork during the Western series shoots, especially with Stanwyck. Their good working relationship not only helped the show succeed, but also showed how positive things were in the industry back then. These stories give us a look into how Hollywood used to be, where actors and actresses made their mark on screen and formed strong bonds behind the scenes. They show how people worked together and connected during that time. Looking back, these stories help us understand Hollywood's past, showing the passion and hard work of famous people. They still interest people today and remind us of those who came before us in the entertainment world. In the early 1970s, a collaboration between two individuals led to the creation of a renowned theater company. Alongside Margot Harley, a prominent figure in the industry, a notable producer played a key role. Their partnership birthed the acting company, an institution with a lasting impact on the theatrical landscape. Interestingly, the opening credits of a popular TV series featured a significant debut, marking a milestone moment for one of its cast members. This series served as a platform for introducing a character named Jamie Somers to audiences, setting the stage for her subsequent journey. Moreover, the producer's contributions extended beyond theater, encompassing notable cinematic productions that introduced acclaimed actors to American audiences. Despite initially passing on a project, one of these actors later joined forces with the producer in a television endeavor, further solidifying their professional relationship. The collaborative efforts of these individuals spanned across various projects, leaving an indelible mark on both stage and screen. Despite being billed as a family-friendly show, concerns arose among parents regarding the terrifying portrayal of faceless female robots. The bionic woman, portrayed by Jamie Summers, frequently encountered these lifelike and super-strong fembots infiltrating top-secret facilities. To defeat them, Jamie often engaged in intense battles that culminated in revealing the fembot's true robotic features two bulbous, unblinking eyes and computer circuits for a mouth and nose. 
Even adults found the faceless appearance unsettling at times. Lou Ayers, known for his roles in several Dr. Kildare films alongside Laren Day, shared significant screen time with her in eight movies. Meanwhile, Martha Scott, despite being an Academy member and a past nominee, was notably absent from the memorial tribute at the 76th Annual Academy Awards in 24. Jamie Somers, a schoolteacher by profession, became a pivotal character in the series. Martha Scott, who portrayed her mother in The Ten Commandments, shared a notable age difference of only six years with her on-screen daughter, Olive Deering. Richard Anderson, known for his role in The Six Million Dollar Man, where his character was affiliated with the fictional OSI, interestingly participated in an orientation video for a real government department also named OSI, which differed significantly from its fictional counterpart. These behind-the-scenes connections add depth to the portrayal of characters in the series. Did you know that the character Jamie Somers from the TV series was named after a real-life water skier named Jamie Somers? Jamie Somers worked with the producer Kenneth Johnson in Killer Whale shows at SeaWorld. The producer liked the name and used it for the character. It made the real Jamie Somers happy to see the homage. Vito Scotti, who was also on the show, was good at a lot of things. He did stand-up comedy, magic tricks, and mime. Back in the 60s, he showed off his skills on The Dick Van Dyke Show. He played a house painter who was great at doing magic tricks. Richard Anderson was another important actor in the series. When the Bionic Woman moved to NBC for a season, he made TV history. He played the same role on two different shows, but on different networks. These stories give us a peek behind the scenes of the series and show how talented and connected the people involved were. In their prime, Katherine Hillman surprised many by wearing a red bikini on a popular TV show. This unexpected choice got a lot of attention because it was different from what people usually saw. Back in 1959, John Houseman, along with Robert Ryan and Sidney Harmon, started a theater group at UCLA. Their teamwork laid the groundwork for many successful plays and added richness to the art scene. Lee Majors and Lindsay Wagner first worked together on a TV show called Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law in 1971. Wagner later appeared on Major's show, The Six Million Dollar Man, in 1974. This led to her big role as the Bionic Woman in 1976. Their teamwork lasted for years, even extending to joint appearances at Bionic conventions. Their collaboration both on and off the screen not only defined their careers, but also created a lasting bond in the entertainment world. It's a notable part of their stories, showing how working together can make a big impact. Formerly a close friend and collaborator of Orson Welles, Houseman had two significant disagreements with him, which ultimately led to the end of their friendship. One notable incident occurred during a studio dinner when Welles accused Houseman of being a bloodsucker and a crook. Despite this, they later reconciled during the writing of a well-known film, where Houseman was asked to babysit a fellow writer. In Lindsay Wagner's Emmy acceptance speech, she expressed gratitude towards her then-husband and a guest star for their warmth and support. The familiar opening theme music of the series made its debut in the third episode of the first season. These anecdotes shed light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics and personal experiences of those involved in the show. In the world of entertainment, there were talented individuals who made significant contributions. One person, known for their work in live theater, earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1993. Another individual, whose mother had a background in construction and film production, directed notable TV movies in the late 1980s. Also, there was an actor who portrayed Benjamin Franklin in a TV series and later played a villainous character in another popular show. These remarkable people brought their unique skills to their respective projects, adding to their success. It's fascinating to see how diverse talents come together to create memorable experiences for audiences. John Houseman, known for his brief role in a horror classic, The Fog contributed with a special appearance credit. His character, Mr. Machen, possibly pays homage to Arthur Machen, a prominent Welsh author and mystic. Lou Ayers, recognized for his diverse roles, portrayed the Vice President and President of the United States in multiple films, along with the Galactic President in Battlestar Galactica. Lee Majors, concurrently starring in two television series, played Jess Brandon in Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, and Colonel Steve Austin in The Six Million Dollar Man. These actors brought depth and versatility to their respective roles, enriching the narrative of the bionic woman with their diverse experiences. Martha Scott was cast as Emily Webb in the Broadway play, making her a theater star. The film version of the play, Our Town, had a different ending, which was considered a misjudgment by the producers. Sally Field and Stephanie Powers were also considered for the role of Jamie Somers, 
but if Field had taken the role, she might have been typecast due to her previous TV work. Richard Anderson was inspired to become an actor after watching Gary Cooper on screen, and his initial screen test was influenced by Cooper's performance in The Cowboy and The Lady. Jamie and Steve were portrayed as high school sweethearts, though in reality there was a significant age gap between them, with Lee Majors being 10 years older than Lindsay Wagner. Catherine Hellman, a notable actress, earned several nominations for her work, including seven Emmy nominations. She received four nominations for Best Actress in a Comedy Series for her role in Soap, and two nominations for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series for Who's the Boss. Additionally, she was nominated once for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series for her appearance on Everybody Loves Raymond. Although she didn't win an Emmy, she did win two Golden Globe Awards for her performances in Soap and Who's the Boss. In a surprising turn of events, the series faced a tragic setback when Lindsay Wagner, who portrayed the titular character, suffered a serious injury during filming. This incident caused a delay in production and prompted the writers to incorporate the injury into the storyline, adding a layer of realism to the show. Despite its popularity, the series was abruptly canceled after just three seasons, leaving fans shocked and disappointed. The sudden end left many storylines unresolved and left viewers wondering about the fate of their beloved characters. Despite its short run, the bionic woman left a lasting impact on popular culture, inspiring future generations of television creators and writers. Its innovative use of special effects and strong female lead paved the way for future female-driven action series. One lesser-known fact about the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman is that during its production, the lead actress Lindsay Wagner suffered a severe back injury while performing a stunt. This incident caused significant delays in filming and led to changes in certain action sequences to ensure the safety of the cast and crew. In a shocking twist, during the filming of The Bionic Woman, the lead actress suffered a severe injury. She slipped and fell on set, resulting in a broken leg. Despite this setback, she remained determined and resumed filming as soon as she recovered, demonstrating her dedication to the series. As for The Bionic Woman, it delves deep into themes of humanity and technology. The character's bionic enhancements, while granting her extraordinary abilities, also isolate her from the rest of society. Throughout the series, she grapples with her dual identity, yearning for acceptance while constantly being reminded of her differences. Despite its popularity, the bionic woman faced a tragic cancellation after just three seasons. Fans were left devastated, mourning the loss of their beloved series. However, its impact on pop culture and the representation of powerful female leads in television endured long after its cancellation. In a twist of events during filming, there was a tragic accident that happened on set. The lead actor got seriously hurt while shooting a daring scene. During a high-flying action moment, the wire supporting the actor snapped, causing a fall and a broken leg. This incident not only stopped the production, but also led to big changes in safety rules on set. It was a stark reminder of the dangers involved in the risky stunts needed for the show. The show, known for its portrayal of a powerful female character, drew in audiences with its mix of science fiction and action. It followed the story of a former athlete who became a secret agent with bionic enhancements, tackling missions for the OSI. Played by Lindsay Wagner, the character quickly became a symbol of female strength, inspiring viewers worldwide. Her character broke stereotypes and opened doors for future female action stars on screen. Throughout its episodes, the show explored themes of identity, humanity, and the moral questions raised by advanced technology. It showed the struggles of its main character as she dealt with the consequences of her bionic upgrades and managed her double life. Despite facing challenges like limited budgets and creative differences, the show left a significant mark on popular culture, continuing to shape how female characters are portrayed in media. In a surprising twist of fate, one tragic tidbit about the series involves an injury suffered by the lead actor. During filming, she fell and seriously hurt her neck causing temporary paralysis and forcing production to pause for weeks. Despite this setback, she bravely returned to finish her role. Airing in 1976, the show mesmerized audiences with its portrayal of a woman enhanced with bionic technology. It followed a former tennis player turned government agent after a near-fatal accident. Each episode showcased her incredible abilities as she tackled risky missions. The lead actor's portrayal struck a chord with viewers, making her a memorable figure in TV history. Her character's struggles with her new powers and the tough choices she faced added depth to the series, earning praise and a devoted fan base. 
Despite facing challenges like scheduling conflicts and limited funds, the show left a mark on popular culture and its representation of a strong, independent female lead remains a significant part of its legacy. In a remarkable TV series from the past, there was a character who inspired many with her resilience and strength. In one episode, a stunt woman faced a life-changing accident which deeply affected everyone involved in the show. Despite the tragedy, she didn't give up and became a powerful advocate for spinal cord injury research. The TV show featured some incredible special effects for its time, especially in showing the character's bionic abilities. It was praised for having a strong female lead in a genre dominated by men. The actress who played the character gained a lot of praise for her performance. Behind the scenes, the production had its fair share of problems like not having enough money and struggles with scheduling. But despite all that, the team worked really hard to make the show as good as possible. Throughout its time on air, the show tackled different topics like who we are, what's right and wrong, and what happens when technology advances too quickly. People found the stories really thought-provoking. Even though the show didn't last very long, it's still remembered fondly by many fans. It was one of those shows that left a mark and is still talked about today. In an unexpected twist, the main characters of a popular TV show faced a tragic loss when one of them met with a fatal accident. This event left fans shocked and saddened, changing the direction of the series significantly. After the heartbreaking incident, the storyline took a poignant turn as the surviving characters struggled with grief and tried to move forward without their partner. This shift added depth to the show, exploring themes of loss, resilience, and the strength to keep going despite challenges. Despite the sadness, the show continued to hold viewers' attention with its portrayal of determination and courage. The surviving character became a symbol of resilience, showing how inner strength can help overcome even the toughest situations. In the end, the show's narrative highlighted the power of perseverance and the ability to face adversity head-on. In a surprising turn of events, one of the tragic elements of the bionic woman involved the unexpected departure of actress Lindsay Wagner. She left the show after the second season due to contractual disputes, leaving fans disheartened and the series with a significant gap to fill. The Bionic Woman, which aired in the mid-70s, gained immense popularity for its groundbreaking portrayal of a female lead in a sci-fi action series. Lindsay Wagner portrayed a former tennis professional turned government agent who received bionic implants after a near-fatal accident. These implants granted her superhuman strength, speed, and agility, enabling her to take on various missions and adversaries. Despite its initial success, the series faced challenges, including shifts in storyline direction and the departure of key cast members. However, it left a lasting impact on television, paving the way for future female-led action series. In a surprising turn of events during the production of The Bionic Woman, the actress Lindsay Wagner suffered a serious injury while filming a scene. She fell from a high wire and fractured several vertebrae, causing significant disruption to the filming schedule and leaving her in considerable pain for an extended period. This incident brought to light the risks and challenges faced by actors and crew members during the production of action-packed television shows like The Bionic Woman. Despite the setback, Lindsay Wagner showed remarkable resilience and determination, returning to the set as soon as she was physically able to continue filming. The injury underscored the physical demands placed on actors in action-oriented roles, reminding viewers of the dedication and sacrifices made by those involved in bringing their favorite television shows to life. In a surprising twist, a tragic incident occurred during filming, causing real-life injuries to the lead actor. While shooting a scene, there was a malfunction, resulting in the actor crashing into a breakaway door and injuring their back. This incident led to years of chronic pain, highlighting the risks of production. The show was not just about action. It tackled important social issues of the time, such as women's empowerment and ethical dilemmas related to technology. The lead actor's portrayal of a strong, independent character with extraordinary abilities struck a chord with viewers, becoming a symbol of resilience. The performance demanded both physical and emotional strength, bringing depth to the character and making the audience empathize with their journey. Despite production challenges, the show remains a classic, known for its portrayal of a female superhero and exploration of significant themes. The dedication of the lead actor and the show's influence on popular culture continue to be celebrated by fans worldwide. In a surprising turn of events, a lead actress faced a tragic accident during the filming process, causing significant disruptions to the production. This incident occurred during a scene involving a high-speed car chase, resulting in severe injuries for the performer when the stunt double's vehicle crashed. 
Consequently, the production team had to hastily rewrite scripts and reshoot scenes to accommodate the recovery period. Despite the setback, the show managed to persevere, albeit under a somber atmosphere. Following the accident, the performer underwent extensive reconstructive surgery, with initial concerns from doctors about her ability to walk again, let alone return to acting. However, her determination and resilience were evident as she defied expectations, gradually regaining mobility and strength. Her triumphant return to the set served as an inspiration to all involved, showcasing her unwavering commitment to her craft. Throughout the challenges faced, the performer's dedication to her role remained unwavering. Her portrayal of a character endowed with extraordinary abilities resonated deeply with audiences worldwide, solidifying her place as a memorable figure in television history. The struggles depicted on screen mirrored her own, lending authenticity and depth to her performance as she navigated both physical and emotional hurdles with grace and determination. Despite the adversity encountered, the show ultimately became a beacon of hope and resilience. Through her courage and perseverance, the performer transformed personal tragedy into a story of triumph, inspiring viewers for generations to come. Her enduring impact serves as a reminder of the human capacity to overcome obstacles and emerge stronger. In a shocking turn of events, a key character in the series met an untimely demise, leaving fans stunned and deeply saddened. The unexpected twist added emotional depth to the storyline, resonating with viewers worldwide. In the 1976 TV show, the portrayal of a character captivated audiences with its blend of strength and vulnerability. The character's journey from a normal person to a bionic super agent was a central focus, exploring themes of identity, loyalty, and resilience. Despite its popularity, the show faced challenges, including budget constraints and creative differences. However, its significance lies in its groundbreaking representation of a female protagonist in a male-dominated genre. Throughout its run, it garnered critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base, solidifying its place in television history. The portrayal of the character remains a standout performance, showcasing complexity and humanity. In its prime, the TV show brought both excitement and touching moments to audiences. Amidst the action and bionic adventures, a significant fact stands out a sad moment in the show's history. During its production, the lead actress faced a serious injury on set, causing a halt in filming. Despite the setback, the determined actress returned to work after a short recovery. This unfortunate incident reveals the difficulties faced behind the scenes, highlighting the dedication needed to make the show. The production team's ability to overcome such challenges and deliver an engaging series reflects their professionalism. The TV show not only showcases the television of its time, but also reminds us of the efforts made to entertain viewers. In the world of this TV series, obstacles were confronted directly and the show persisted, leaving a lasting impression on television history. During the making of the 1976 TV series, something really sad happened. There was a dangerous stunt that went wrong, and the main actress got badly hurt. This stopped filming for a while, making things difficult for everyone involved. It showed how risky making the show could be, even though it was about a character with special powers. The actors and crew came together to help their injured friend, and after a break, they started filming again. This incident, though very sad, showed how dedicated and strong everyone was who worked on the show. Making TV shows is tough, but they didn't give up. It kept going and made a show that people loved because of its exciting story and strong characters. Behind the scenes of a beloved TV show, there's often more than meets the eye. Take, for instance, the story of a famous actress who faced a tough challenge during filming. While bringing her character to life, she got seriously hurt on set, causing big delays in the show. She needed surgery to recover, but she didn't give up. After getting better, she came back to the show and kept giving great performances. This incident shows how dedicated the people working on the show were, even when things got tough. In a surprising turn of events during the filming of The Bionic Woman, lead actress Lindsay Wagner suffered a serious injury while performing one of her own stunts. She fell from a height and fractured her arm, leading to a temporary halt in production. This incident caused a setback in the filming schedule as the production had to work around Wagner's recovery time. Despite the setback, Wagner returned to the set as soon as she was able, demonstrating her dedication to the show. Despite the setback, the bionic woman continued to captivate audiences with its groundbreaking portrayal of a strong female protagonist in a predominantly male-dominated genre. The show's success paved the way for greater representation of women in action-oriented roles on television. 
Amidst the hustle of filming, an unfortunate incident occurred involving a stuntwoman named Heidi Von Belts. She got badly hurt during a car stunt, leaving her paralyzed from the neck down. Despite this, she didn't give up. Instead, she shifted her role to help actors with their lines. The production team had to change things around to support her, showing they cared for everyone involved. This accident showed how risky stunts can be and why safety is crucial on sets. Heidi's determination afterward, despite her condition, is a powerful reminder of human strength in tough times. It's a story that reflects the challenges faced behind the scenes and the resilience of people when life gets tough. In 1976, a tragic incident during filming shocked everyone involved. A stunt double, attempting a daring leap, suffered severe injuries, leading to a halt in production as the team rushed to provide aid and review safety protocols. The TV show, aired in 1976, tells the story of a former tennis pro turned government agent. After a near-fatal skydiving accident, the main character receives bionic implants, giving her superhuman abilities. Played by Lindsay Wagner, she navigates a world of secrets and challenges while dealing with her newfound powers. The series was a hit with viewers for its unique mix of science fiction and action, setting the stage for future shows led by strong female characters. Despite facing obstacles like disagreements over the show's direction and budget issues, it garnered praise for Wagner's portrayal of the lead character. Wagner's performance earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base, thanks to her portrayal of the character's strength, vulnerability, and humanity. Although the show had a short run, it left a lasting impact, inspiring generations of viewers and shaping how strong female protagonists are portrayed on television. In a surprising twist, the unfortunate passing of actress Julie Parrish, who played the role of Jamie Sommer's sister during the production of the show led to significant changes in the storyline. Her absence had a profound effect on the direction of the series, affecting both the plot and the emotions of the cast and crew. Created as a spin-off from another popular show, it follows the story of a former tennis pro turned government agent equipped with bionic enhancements after a near-fatal accident. The main character, portrayed by Lindsay Wagner, navigates her new life, using her enhanced abilities to take on dangerous missions while grappling with the complexities of her bionic existence. Throughout the series, themes of identity, morality, and the consequences of technological advancements are explored, offering viewers a thought-provoking look at human nature amidst action and intrigue. With its compelling storytelling and memorable characters, it captivated audiences during its run, and continues to be celebrated as a cult classic in the world of science fiction television.